The Crown says a police inspector organised a mock arrest of a teenager, had him locked in a police cell and threatened him with a charge of rape if he didn't leave the country. Inspector Hrimoana Dennis and Sergeant Vaughan Parry are on trial at the High Court in Auckland where they've denied charges of kidnapping. Our Auckland Court reporter Edward Gay filed this report. The Crown prosecutor Brian Dickey said Mr Dennis wanted to help a family but he overstepped the mark. So the Crown says to you this is a pretty serious case of the abuse of that power of the New Zealand police force, the uniform and of course the rank. He said the family of the 17-year-old didn't approve of his 15-year-old girlfriend. That caused a rift between the young man and his family and he ended up staying at the home of his girlfriend. There were arguments between the families, one of which boiled over into a nearby public reserve and the police were called. One of the officers who showed up was Inspector Hurimoana Dennis, a friend of the 17-year-old's family. That's when, as Mr Dickey put it, things blew up. Later, police were again called, this time by the 17-year-old's mother, who laid a complaint against her own son, alleging he was having a sexual relationship with a minor, his 15-year-old girlfriend. Look, it's dubious to propose that she did so out of concern for the victim in that matter, which of course is the underage girl. She did so for her own reasons. The investigation concluded no charges should be laid and the senior detective told the 17-year-old the outcome. But Mr Dickey said Mr Dennis didn't let the matter end there. He had a constable pick the 17-year-old up and bring him to the Auckland Central Police Station where his mother and grandfather were waiting in an interview room. He said the 17-year-old was told he could either stay in New Zealand and be charged with rape or leave and start a new life in Australia. The inspector told him he would take him down to the police cells and charge him with rape and that he would be held in the cells overnight and that he would go to the court the following day. Mr Dickey said Sergeant Vaughan Perry took the young man through the process that included having his details entered into the computer, having his clothes and shoes removed and being given a wristband which he was told was a tracking device. He was then put in a police cell, a cell the jury will visit tomorrow, before he told Mr Dennis he would move to Australia. But once there, the young man had his passport taken off him by family members. It was some time until he could convince them to return the document on the pretext of wanting to open a bank account in Australia. Instead, the teenager got on a plane from Sydney bound for Auckland. But Mr Dennis was told by family members the teenager was on his way back and alerted his colleagues at the airport. He was then ushered off the aircraft by airline staff and was met by the constables Posselwaite and Heenan at the gate. Constables were both in uniform and uh, sidearms with the Glock pistol. Mr Dickey said the young man believed he had no choice but to do what the officers asked of him. That included attending another meeting with his family and Huri Moana Dennis, where he was told by Mr Dennis that he was not to see his girlfriend and not to return to the country until after his 18th birthday. His girlfriend's family were only metres away in the arrival lounge, still waiting for him to appear. But instead of a reunion, the teenager was put on the next flight back to Sydney. Mr Dennis's lawyer, Steve Bonner QC, said the teenager's version of events was far from the truth. He said his client was an experienced police officer who was only trying to re-establish the young man's ties with his family. One of his strategic goals was to keep young Maori men out of the system. And one of the roles of an iwi liaison officer, which is what he was, is to get involved when necessary, is to help when necessary. He said the young man was breaking the law by having sex with a minor and Mr Dennis was only trying to stop him becoming another statistic. Vaughan Perry's lawyer, Todd Simmons, said his client was following the directions of two senior police officers and believed the teenager was taking part in a role play and had given his consent. The trial is due to hear from 25 witnesses and is set down for up to four weeks. Mōti hōtaka o te ahiahi, ko Edward Gayahou.